Explain again. I need a big cake. You only have one. Turn it off. He ordered. I didn't order the cake. He did. Vika. Hi. Lilka. <laughs> Why do you look so good? I didn't understand. Thank you. I haven't seen you for 300 years. Why didn't you call? Yes, I was running around somehow. Well, that's it. I really miss the skin too. But I don't want to call you. I don't want to pull. Like the capital. The capital is worth it. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But could you wrap the cake quickly? My husband and daughter are just waiting for me on the street. These dads themselves are eye to eye. Yes, our dad is perfect. Just a girl, very small and a mother is needed. Who needs me? Two seconds. I'll wrap it up now. Thank you very much. Wait, don't you have a son? Well, I recently gave birth to a daughter. Yes, Kirill is arranging a holiday today. The whole city invited. The mayor will be there. Vikal, please come. Wait, I thought the doctors told you that there were more children. Well, the doctors were wrong. God gave a girl. Come and babysit. Oh, if you had called in advance, written. And so I literally came to the administration for a couple of hours to run in, pick up the documents. I wanted to bring the ants a cake. Well, it would be fine, another one. But I will definitely come on occasion. Promise. I solemnly swear. Maybe even for the next weekend. Let's see. Glad to see you terribly. Likewise. For now. I'm waiting. All right. And here are my gentlemen. Hello. What a meaningful look. Children often have eyes running around. Anya looks like that. Well, sex is sweet. Thank you. Kirill Alexandrovich, I'll open it. Kirill Alexandrovich, I'll open it, I'll open it. She's still very young. She will then realize that she has no chance in relation to me. I hope so. Well, where is our princess here? Give her to me, give me the princesses. What a beauty. A. Well, Kirill Sanik, you're not only working well with your head, are you? That's fine. That's fine. What happened? So, don't panic. Now we'll turn on the generator. About. Turn on the light. Mom. Can I have a cake? Do you want a cake? We're going, my sister will sleep, and we will celebrate. Here you go. Give me some more. Someone open the window. Young man, well, something is burning in the kitchen, check immediately. But aren't you hot? No, no, Sanic, it's not in the kitchen. Is something burning in the house or on the street? Come on. Here. I'm telling you to burn. What? Watch your son. Come on, come on, come on. I'll take it. To me. To me. Everyone goes out. Everyone's coming out. Coming out. Don't push. Calm down.
How is she today? Physically, it's already better. The burns are small, they will heal soon. But the state of mind inspires fears. We lost our daughter. So you're being more specific. Your wife is constantly delirious, calling for help. When he comes to, he cries. We have to keep her sedated for the third day. And what to do about it? Perhaps you should consult a psychiatrist. There are specialists working on injuries. We can invite specialists for a consultation. Contact us. And so, it just takes time. May I? Yes. Please. Have you been to the police? The police? My daughter was stolen. We need to put on the wanted list. Honey, there's been an accident. Exclusion of firefighters. It was written that the wire was damaged. Clearly. Understood. Lilia. Lilia, what are you doing? Lilia. I'll help myself if. All right, I'll go to the police. I'll go. Do you promise? What are you? I'm sorry. Kirill promised. What did the investigators say when they start searching? Let's discuss it later. And when then, Kirill? No, when then, we're wasting time. Son. Mom. Mom. Hello. My good. I asked Lena to look after Matthew temporarily. Thank you. Thanks, Len. A good one. And find a nanny for Matvi, please, okay? All right. The conclusion of the firefighters said that the cause of the ignition was a heater. His diaper fell from his crib and a fire started. Then the flame spread to the curtains and the wooden paneling of the walls. There was a fire protection impregnation. I don't know what was there, but the flame was so strong that the child burned completely. Not even a skeleton was left. That's not true. They didn't find anything because the daughter was stolen before the fire. Look. I'm very sorry for you, but I don't see any grounds for initiating criminal proceedings. But I saw that she wasn't in the crib. You have to listen to me somehow, take me into consideration, start a case. You know, the building was filled with smoke. You are stressed. Don't talk to me like I'm crazy. Don't you want to listen to me? My husband will come to you. He will come again, just with your superiors. Lady. I haven't seen your husband in my eyes, and stop scaring me. You will be very ashamed when I find my child. Well, as you know. Lelechka, what a horror. What a grief. My condolences. Have you even had time to baptize, baby? I have a daughter alive. She was stolen. The fire was set to distract attention. The police don't want to work. I have to look for her myself. Tell me, please, have you heard anything? Maybe there are some suspicious sounds. No, I didn't hear anything. Anything unusual at all. A baby crying, maybe. No, nothing special. Lelechka, excuse me, I have urgent business. Have a nice day. Something. Goodbye. I'm asking you very much, please.
Valentina Trofimovna. Lelechka, hello, how are you holding up? What else can I do? The police don't want to start a case, and Kirill doesn't seem to believe me. Listen, Lelechka, well, it doesn't matter how you look. Well, we have to come to our senses somehow, recover. Why are you behaving like this here? Valentina Trofimovna, me. I need your help. I'll help in any way I can, but what do you need? Please talk to your husband. I ask him very much, you understand me how. How's the mother? Listen, I have a good uncle. That's right, helped me a lot when depression overcame. Let's give his phone number to you. Depression. Excuse me, did you hear what I said to you? Lil, I heard. And I'm telling you, go to him. And you will get rid of these fantasies of your own about the abduction of a child. At what age did you send your son to England? At seven years old, it seems to everyone. And how many times did you see him after that? You just don't get it. Do you? You don't understand how I feel right now. How dare you? Yes, I dare, because I love my daughter. Do you understand? She's small, and I love her. I'm sorry, please, that I bothered you. Will someone approach me in this store? What are you interested in? Why did you make a scandal to the mayor's wife? This has already gone too far. I, I. I understand your grief. But I also have grief. I lost my daughter too. When will you finally understand this? Or do you want to finish me off, or what? You've been living with me for 10 years, Kirill. 10 years. And at the first opportunity, you turned your back on me. Why did you lie about being in the police, huh? Do you think I'm crazy too? Come on, lock me up in psychiatry. Valentina Trofimovna will tell you the phone number. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. Me. I'm also very worried. Me. I lost my daughter and now I'm losing my wife. And my son is losing his mother. We have to get over it. And move on. I beg you very much. Promise me that you will stop looking. All right. I'm tired, I want to sleep. Lena, good morning. Please order a basket of flowers for Valentina Trofimovna. I'll write the text now. All right, Kirill Alexandrovich. And I wanted to ask, if you haven't had breakfast yet, I can offer you homemade waffles. I got up early today, baked, there were a lot of them. You know, just make coffee. Although, let's have our waffles. I didn't have breakfast today. Woman, I'm sorry. Please, excuse me. Yes, I'm from the police about a fire on the next street. Oh, Lord, save and preserve. What a horror. And the truth is, the baby died there. Not true. A child was stolen. Oh, what's going on? Was it stolen right from the fire? That's what's being done. Have you heard anything unusual? Crying? Or have you seen a man with a child in his arms? There was a case. There was a case. I still thought, and the mask is some kind of bad. Here he gives birth to children, and then does not know what to do with them. The child is yelling hungry, and she's dragging him like this. Well, he asks, why do you drag yourself with a child at night? With a baby? Can you describe the woman? Oh. Well, well, it seems so low. 
and maybe high. I don't remember whether it was light or dark hair, or maybe there was a stream. It was very dark. That's at least an eye out. It was so dark. I don't remember her. I don't remember. I don't remember. Was the woman alone or was someone accompanying her? Well, maybe alone, maybe with someone. I don't remember. But it was definitely that night, right? That's what you asked me, baby. I don't know what day it is. But the fact that they went into the forest is for sure. The subscriber's phone is turned off or temporarily unavailable. What happened? Where's mom? She stayed and forever, as a sister will never come back? Well, nonsense. Mom loves you very much and will definitely come back. Don't want to sit all day. My hammer family. She's disgusting. Why didn't mom take it with her? Well, hush, hush, hush. Mom. Mom will be back, everything will be fine. Everything will definitely be fine. Mom, where is my mom? Mom. Where have you been? And why did Matvi leave for the whole day with a neighbor? I didn't answer calls at all. What's going on? I ran out of gas in the forest, there was no connection there. Then my phone ran out, some huntsman drove me to the city. In general, it doesn't matter, I found witnesses. There are people who saw that a woman at night, the night of the fire, was walking down the street with a baby in her arms, with a baby. She was screaming. She was walking somewhere in the direction of abandoned houses, there in the woods. We need to call the police. Do you have a phone of some kind? We need to call the police. So, my requests and feelings for you are like this. Empty sound, right? Kirill, you don't understand. I almost found her. Kirill, I almost found her. Lilia, if you don't understand in a good way, then you will have to repeat in a bad way. You stop searching immediately. And return to your family, where your husband and son are waiting for you. But if they mean something else to you, of course. And then what? Well, otherwise you'll be all alone. You have a meeting with a psychologist tomorrow. Well, these are not cheesecakes. This, this is some kind of their likeness. And the coffee is delicious. So, everyone, the right styles are ready tonight. Vika. Vika, is that you? Lilia, hi. Hi there. It's good to see you. I am also very. I didn't know you were here. I think about you very often. Seriously, yes, and we literally just arrived. 
We already transferred a week ago. I haven't even had time to call anyone yet. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. I didn't know you were married. Well, it had to happen sometime. Meet my husband Leonid, my childhood friend Lilia. Very, very nice. Have a seat. Would you like some coffee? Girl, please. How do we like Kirill? Perhaps only the stars are higher already? Well, yes, he's in administration. Something related to construction, reconstruction, cultural heritage. I, in general, do not really understand. Big shot. And your husband Kirill Marikovsky? Yes. Do you know each other? No. But I'd be glad to meet you. So come over for dinner tonight. Really, come. We rarely have guests. Yes, you know, we even do things properly. Not. Will we definitely come? With great pleasure. We will wait. And, laziness, am I already dangerous? Let's go. I'm telling you. I was glad to see you. Very, very glad. Vikulia, please leave me your new number. Yes, of course. Call me. Well, bye. Happily. Until tonight. Come on. Goodbye. Until tonight. For now. Vic, what's the matter? She didn't even let me finish my coffee. Why did you ask for it? Crime in the same. You heard everything perfectly. Such a fish is large and swims into your hands by itself. I can't miss it. Is it possible not to involve Lily in this? My daughter died 10 years ago, burned down. She still can't come to her senses. I'm not going to touch your Lily. I need her husband. And even if he is clean, such an acquaintance still does not hurt. And we have no one to talk to here. You're nothing. Well, I don't know. Katya exhausted her nerves again in the morning while she was going to school. Okay, we're going to their place for dinner. Clever girl. Well, are you planning to tell her everything at all? Otherwise, Kiryusha is already tired of endless breakfasts. And my girl? You and I have already agreed. I transferred all the property to Lilia before the start of the campaign. If I start a divorce and division of property now, I will be crucified and left without pants. And, by the way, you too, have you forgotten that we are going to the regional council? I would like to. Yes, you just won't let me. And that's right. Because I'll stay in goal like a falcon. And then, if I know everything publicly, she will start talking about how I left my family for a secretary. Curious, you have to be smarter and more cunning. Well, figure out how to submit it correctly. Well, think about it. You're a smart girl. Smart. Do you have to listen to music so loud, huh? Do you want us to be evicted from here altogether, Katia? I'm talking to you, Katia. Did you do your homework? What about the hair? Have you painted yourself or something? Mom's talking to you. Vic, Vic. Don't, Vic. Let's talk about it ourselves. Duck. Well, against whom was I? Oh, hair color. Fire. When I'm at the kiosk today, our paint, it'll be gone soon. She's generally cool. Or maybe I should paint myself too, the blonde? I thought it wouldn't suit you. What? It will go even better. I'll be blonde number one. Oh. Killed. Oh, by the way. Have you had lunch? Yeah. But what about Charlotte, who is sad in the refrigerator? Can I eat sweets instead of lunch? No. See, you can't. Let's do this. You'll have a nice lunch, and then deal with Charlotte. And with soup, you can have half a plate. 
you're better. There will be no more pocket money. Why is she acting like this? Does she really hate me that much? Come on, Vic, don't exaggerate. It's just that Katya has a transition period. It will pass. We won't take her to visit with us today. Let him stay at home. We won't take it. With such light hair, yes. What bones. Let's go to lunch. Mom, pass me some more pancakes, please. Of course. Well, what kind of work brought you from the capital? I'm an investigator on particularly important cases. I will fight against local corruption. And then the scale is serious, the capital is already worried. Thanks for the warning. But anyway, I'm glad to meet you. Likewise. Yes. It's chicken in honey mustard sauce. Besides Lily, no one cooks like that. That's where I bet. Chicken in honey mustard sauce is my signature dish. Vika won't let you collect it. Yes, and we have Lenya with a gourmet and a cook from God. Come on. Just a hobby. What kind of work do I have? Responsible, tense. I'm resting in the kitchen. The kitchen for me is creativity, but I will definitely try your chicken. Thank you, it's a pleasure. You're lucky, Vika, with your husband, a cook, and our dad can't even fry eggs. Yes, Matvi. So, not fried eggs, happiness. But I have a lot of other advantages. Definitely. Do you have children? Yes, daughter, Katya. And how old is she? What didn't you take with you? Ten somehow didn't work out today. And what do they like? What do they do? They mostly play on parental nerves. Oh, he does everything. I'll show you the photo now. It is not necessary to load people with other people's children. Thank you, Vika. It's very tactful. Well, really, it's all right. I'm really very interested. Now. Here is our beauty. The personality is bright. Today I dyed my hair purple. In pink. Well, yes. Well, really, not completely with hair. But she promised that she would be gone soon. Well, that's unlikely. He doesn't let us get bored. Doesn't eat anything. Vegetables and fruits just can't fit in. We're not even trying. Well, that's their age. Tastes change. Maybe you'll like it again. To be honest, we're being cautious. Last year they forced me to eat a vegetable salad. It went in spots. It turned out to be allergic to Bulgarian pepper. How are you? Me? It's all right. It's a pity that the connection with Vika was suddenly cut off then. I missed her. I'm not talking about Vika. I'm talking about her daughter. Just don't tell me you didn't pay attention to the fact that she has an allergy like yours. I'm not the only person in the world with such an allergy, right? You know, for lazy people, they're crazy. You know, I've heard such rumors. Besides, Psychos are great at pretending. In general, of course, this is the most terrible thing when your child dies in front of you, and you can save him. Yes, you won't wish it on the enemy. Wait, I'll see if Katia is awake. Oh, Katie Usha, you woke you up. Dad, will you read to me? What do you read in general, 
what will not be written off? I can't sleep until Dad reads to me. Dad, you promised. Yes? Dad is tired after work. Come on, okay, I'll read you now. No, Dad. What is it? Not in the theater, after all. Something suits. So, quiet, girls, don't quarrel. Now Papa Lenya will read everything, but then he will do everything. Come on, Katie Usha. That's it, Matvi. Have a nice day. I'll pick you up at 2 o'clock. Mom, maybe I'm on my own, huh? Well, it's just that they bring me and take me away, as if I'm five years old. No, it's not up for discussion. I can't lose you, too. All right. For now. For now. Yes. Hi, Vikusha. Hi there. Can we meet? Take a walk. Will you introduce me to Katya? Can't I take her with me? She's at school. And after school. And then he goes to gymnastics and to the pool. And on the weekend. On the weekend. Oh, we're going to Clunan's parents on the weekend. Yes. I'm sorry. Please. It's really inconvenient for me to talk right now. For now. Okay. I get it. For now. Ah. Well, it hurts. Lilia, good afternoon. By what fates? Hello. And I met with a tutor for Matvi. And you? So our daughter is studying here. Vika twisted her leg unsuccessfully, so I had to leave work and work as a dad for a while. It's a good school. Yes. I studied here. Well, it was a good carefree time. Minimum responsibility, maximum pleasure. Although kindergarten was even better. Oh, no, kindergarten was a nightmare for me. He could not stand a quiet hour, he did not sleep himself and gave it to others. What the teachers didn't do to me, and they put them in a corner, and complained to their parents. But I still didn't give up. Oh, Katie Usha. Hi there. Hi there. Meet Elena. Hello. Good afternoon. Are you experimenting? I had it too. The paint was washed off in spots. I will be like after an illness. The same thing. If you want, I'll tell you a good toning agent. It will even out the color, then wash off. Oh, yes, please. Because it already looks stupid somehow. Classmates mock and call names. So maybe you can take a walk with us if you're not in a hurry. There is a shopping center nearby. There we will surely find this miracle remedy. Yes, of course. It's necessary to help out. Shall we go? Come on. Put this on your hair for 20 minutes, just no more, okay? Then immediately with resin. And now we will find you a good mask so that your hair does not come out. Why did you even paint yourself, my friend, huh? Yes, all classmates. Only earlier they called me a gray mouse and no one wanted to sit with me. So I painted myself. And how did it help? Now the most popular. No, there was a gray mouse, it became a pink flamingo. I don't know which is worse. Probably, it was necessary to wear black makeup. Who knows? Oh, wow. Mom needs one face from you. 
me, please, did you have a series for professional care? Such banks are large burgundy, silver inscriptions. There should be. I'll take a look now. Thank you very much. I didn't even think there was such a problem behind this stupid prank. Lenya, you're an investigator, didn't you ask? Here is such a shoemaker without boots turned out to be. It's understandable. But a ten-year-old person can't just paint himself, either a boy, or problems with friends. You know, time is sometimes sorely lacking. Yes, and Katia told me so that she would tell us everything. With Vika in general, they have been making a row lately. Well, puberty happens. Listen, maybe you can take a walk with us again sometime? Maybe tomorrow, if it's convenient for you. Well, maybe Katia will tell you something else about herself. With pleasure. Agreed? Yes. Hi there. It's been a while since I've seen you like this. Yes. Life is coming back. Sounds weird, right? Well, what is strange? Is there a reason? No. I ask you again, give me the doll. And I answer again, I won't give it back. This is my doll. Seriously, and where did you get the money for it? It's a gift. A gift? What happened to you again? Did you buy this here? It's not like this. Lilia gave it to me. You never buy me normal toys. Lilia. Vic, I'll explain everything. Lilia is cool. She dory what I like. And anyway, she's better than you. In Katyusha. That's great. Run to your room. You can play on the console. 20 minutes. Come on. Do you even know that we are? You and I don't know a damn thing about our own child. Are you aware that her classmates are bullying her? That she had a conflict with the teacher, that instead of taking control of mathematics, she handed over blank sheets, and Lila managed to find out in just a week. Len, you know, I am. I really rarely ask you for anything. I'm just trying to figure out, do my words mean nothing to you at all? Vic, don't exaggerate. I encouraged these meetings because Lilia found a common language with Katia and I learned a lot of new things. I thought it would help stop these scandals. And if you're against it, then. Okay, we won't meet again. And I promise. Mom, I don't want to go out with anyone. And why is it unclear with whom? These are our friends. I have known Katina's mother since childhood, and now they have a difficult relationship with their daughter. I'm helping to fix them. Are you a psychologist? Well, in a way. Hi, there. Hi, Katyusha. Meet Matvi, my son. This is Katya. Hi, there. And where are we going today? Katyusha, we're going home today. Mom is taking off the bandage, and she will need help. Here. Oh, what a pity. I thought we were going for a walk together. 
Ah. The elbow. How are you? It's fine. Come on, get up. Get up, buddy. I'm a doctor, I'll take a look. Here's the elbow. Yeah, if there's a bruise, tell your mom to make a mesh of iodine. Is everything okay, baby? Is there no bruise? I completely forgot, we have a vaccination today. Matvi, why didn't you remind me? Come on. Goodbye. Goodbye. We have to open a case. We are obliged to conduct a study and make a DNA analysis of Katya Pavlova. By the way, your employee passes her off as his daughter. And I'm sure this is my child. She looks like me. Outsiders notice it. We have the same allergy to Bulgarian pepper. We have identical birthmark spots on our hand. Age is appropriate. What other evidence? Lady. God, I should have told you earlier. It's time for you to go to the doctor. To treat your head. There will be no DNA examinations. This is my baby. Is there anything you have to do? I don't owe you anything. There is no criminal case. God, I don't know how else to explain it to you, but there is no reason for this. All right, if I bring you the positive results of the DNA examination, it will be the basis. I'll take the material myself. So, but this is not necessary. This is already an interference in personal life. Do you want me to arrest you? Lilia. Yes. Well, what to do here? You went to get vaccinated, didn't you? Let's go. They robbed me in the hospital, stole my wallet. I came to write a statement. And who took it to you? I don't remember the investigator's last name, but it doesn't matter. They said they wouldn't find the wallet anyway. You just have to restore the documents. So let me talk to him. Let them search, and suddenly, often money is taken away, and wallets are dumped. Don't, he is. He's already human. I don't have time for overloaded work, I have Matvi waiting in the hospital. I'm sorry, please, goodbye. May I? Major Leonid Pavlov? A good friend of mine has just left you. Why did you upset such a beautiful woman? They refused to accept the application. A good friend, then. I wouldn't say that if I were you. Why? She's a wonderful person. The problem with my daughter helped them a lot. Helped? Wait, stop. Did you let her near your daughter? But this lady is not all at home. She just demanded to do a DNA analysis of your daughter. She claimed that this was her child, who was allegedly abducted 10 years ago. Hi there. Where's mom? I have no idea. First, in the morning, she took me to a meeting with this Lenya and his daughter. And then suddenly she decided that I needed a vaccination, but at the same time she brought me home, went crazy somewhere. I'm hungry, there's nothing to eat at home. Can you cook something? Yes, of course, have a seat. And how often does she meet with this Lenya? Yes. Where have you been? Why did Motya hungry miss training? I was robbed, Kirill. A wallet with all the cards and documents was stolen. I was at the bank. Then I was at the police, making a certificate for a new passport. Didn't you think to call? And my phone is dead. And I know that you were walking with the girl Katia and her dad. Is there any explanation for this? 
Well, what's the explanation? Well, we crossed paths by chance. They have problems with their daughter, they can't find a common language. Well, the person consulted how we cope with Motvi. Then he asked to talk to the girl. I talked. That's all. And you're not hiding anything from me? Well, no, of course, why would I? Are you hungry? And wash it too. Do you want homemade pizza? Or spaghetti carbonate? Both. I'm a hungry horror like. Will you join me in the kitchen? Well, yes. The bottle of wine left over from your birthday. Yes or no? I'm listening. Hello, I'm here to see Investigator Pavlov. Please come in. Thank you. Woman, what's your business? Can I help you? No, thanks. I'm personal. I'll come back later. Gentlemen, but the protests of concerned citizens. Yes, this is normal. After all, we are. You are going to demolish an architectural monument and build a shopping center there. Kirill Sanik, I understand everything. But can these protests be quenched somehow, eh? It's necessary to build, and also to hold a tender and win. Well, include something architectural in your project. I don't know. Well, to be old-fashioned. That's right, Kirill Sanik. Well, that's old cherry spending. What guarantees do we have? A guarantee? My word. I love doing business with you, Kirill Sanik. It's good that you're going to the regional council. Such people are needed there. Good afternoon. Is Kirill at home? Kirill Alexandrovich is busy right now. Can I record it next week? Well, write it down. By the way, where are you going? Well, thanks for the meeting. Everything. Send the documents by courier next week, described. Yes, thank you, gentlemen. Have a nice day. Thank you. Laziness, listen, I'm really busy right now. Let's talk later. Yesterday your wife came to the investigator with a request for a DNA analysis of my daughter. What? She believes that Katya and her daughter. Listen, I'm sorry, of course, but you should show it to specialists. I don't want my family to have problems. No. She's not dangerous. Yes, she may be a little depressed and nervous, but she won't be offended by a fly. Kirill, if you don't take action, I will. Put yourself in my shoes. Oh, Lilia. Okay, give me a few days, I'll figure it out. Accept my sincere apologies. I'm counting on you. Infection. What happened? Cancel the meeting. Let's go to you. So. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm from the clinic. Yeah. About your student Katya Pavlova. She's new. So, the new Katya Pavlova. So, there is such a thing and what? We have no information about her vaccinations. The mother took the card, did not return it and does not answer the calls. Well, you know, there are these newfangled parents who believe that vaccinations are not necessary for children. Although measles is walking around the city. Well, it doesn't matter. In general, you have copies of her vaccination. So, my mother is a woman. 
The nurse is on vacation, but she has the keys. She keeps her documents there. Is Nina Sergeevna at home? No, Mish, what happened? I have suppliers there with invoices messed up. We need to go figure it out now. Sorry, I'm going fast. I'll wait. Shall we look for a card? Right, sorry, a madhouse. So, cards, cards, here are our cards. And here she is, the first, Pavlova Ekaterina. Here you go. Is that her? No, it will be older. Oh, sorry, maybe they messed up something with the schools. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll come back again. Thank you. Please, hold on. Thank you. Hello, yes. No, she's not the one on vacation. I'm listening to you. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, please. Hi, there. Katyusha. How are you? All right. What are you doing here? Mom said you were sick. No, I'm fine. Mom must have confused something. Well, then why don't we go out together anymore? Or did mom have a fight with you too? No. And why did you decide that? Well, she's just been fighting with everyone lately. No, my friend, mom has nothing to do with it. I just had a lot to do, but I hope we'll be able to see each other more often soon. Excuse me, please, I have to run. See you soon. For now. Kiriush. I accidentally listened to your conversation here. Is he really not himself? Did you think I was lying to you? No, really. Well... Just. You asked me to come up with something, and I came up with it. If Lilia recognizes incapacitated, then nothing will happen to your property. You will be able to return it normally and calmly divorce her. And I know a very good psychiatrist who will help for a certain amount. You've already thought of everything. And you'd better hurry up, otherwise I'm already waiting. Curious, do you really want to make a girl who knows so much about your work her cancer? Moreover, the department is now restless. Daily, or could be dangerous. Girl, girl. If I had known earlier what kind of girl you are. Okay, let's use the services of your psychiatrist. Are you still mad at me? Vic, I have to tell you something. I promise you'll listen to me calmly, okay? What happened? No, nothing happened. Well, you know, you. You were right about Lily. But really not in himself. Why did you decide that Arcadia and her daughter? What did she decide? Vic, you, don't worry. She's just a sick person. I've already talked to her husband. He will take action. Laziness, you don't understand. She's not just a sick person. She's a psychopath. I didn't want to move here because of her. Because she's been jealous of me all her life. I have no idea at all how far she can go. Well, that's it. Don't worry. I told you, I've solved the issue. Kirill will show her to specialists and if her condition is really serious, she will be treated. The question is a couple of days. I love you very much. I love you too. 
Promise me, please, that you won't leave me, no matter what I do. Vic. What can you possibly do? Of course I won't leave you. Don't even hope. Mom, hi. Hi there. And I'm hungry. Is there something to eat? Be patient a little. Guests will be at dinner in an hour. Dad warned me at the last minute. And if you have free time, well, do your homework. In the room, maybe clean it up. So I've already done everything. Do you want to get rid of me? No, I just need to cook dinner. Mom, do you remember when I told you that we have a new math teacher? Such a beast. He gave us a test today, so I only wrote two tasks. Mom, are you listening to me at all? Yes, yes. And what did I just say? Matvi, stop interrogating me. You have free time, but help me set the table in the living room. I'll get the hot stuff. Matvi, put down the phone. How many times do I have to tell you? Yes, Dad, I am. It's just that there's a new math teacher who asks so much, I looked at where he came from. Divine. Cutlets in Kiev, just fantastic. How do you cook them? I ask you to forgive me, I will leave you, I have a headache. Kirill, dessert is in the kitchen. Have a nice day. Yes. Dad, I'll go too, this teacher has asked so much there, it's up to the morning to decide. Mom, can I come in? Yes, of course. Did something happen? I can see that something is wrong. I can't tell you yet. And why? You said yourself that we're best friends. Let's talk tomorrow. I really have a headache. Mom, what's going on? What would you say if you knew your sister was alive? What? There is a chance. She wasn't in her crib when the fire broke out. I saw it myself, with my own eyes, Matvi. Now it's clear why Dad invited a psychiatrist. What? Karl Evtonievich is a psychiatrist. Didn't you know? You should at least see on Facebook who dad brings to the house. Here, look. Here he is, Karl Evgenievich. Place of work, psychiatric hospital number four. Thank you, my son. Well, right off the bat, of course, it's difficult to diagnose. A more thorough examination is needed. But according to external signs, there is a neurosis. Perhaps even a nervous breakdown is approaching. We help to try to prevent it. You understand that every breakdown has its own deep reasons. A serious illness is possible. So, when should I expect you? At the clinic? At home, I don't know yet. I'll call you. Bye okay. Thank you. Thank you for dinner. Your colleague is very strange. Have you known him for a long time? Strange? Yeah. I don't know. I thought you were acting weird all evening. That this is the same story with the phone. Is it difficult to explain to Matvi that it is impossible to sit at the table with a phone? Well, I would explain it to my son. But raising a child is your responsibility. And what are your responsibilities? Treat me. I'm not a doctor to treat you. Well, as a husband, I have to take care of you. Noble. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's you. Well, have you sorted out your Katya Pavlov? Figured it out. 
that Katya Pavlova turned out to be homeschooled at all. But I'm here for another question. You said yesterday that you don't have a nurse. You haven't found anyone in a day. Are you kidding? Who will come here for three kopecks? I'll go with pleasure. I am so tired of the polyclinic and nervous pensioners. Who can I talk to? So talk to me. I'm a part-time HR department here. Do you have a medical degree? There is. I am a doctor, a pediatrician. But when my son was born, I quit my job and now I could only get a job as a nurse. Here's my duklon. Okay, I looked later. God, how timely you are. You have no idea. We've got a pediculosis boy here, so you'll have to check it all out. In the meantime, I'll prepare an order. Oh, you made my day. The uncle seems to be accommodating. He said that he needed to be examined and he was ready to help. But I'm not sure yet. Curious, well, you understand that you can't delay. The results of the survey may be disappointing. And we won't have to invent anything. Besides, she can hurt herself. Elena, you will call all the bidders and reschedule for Monday. All right, Kirill Alexandrovich, I'll do it. No, they didn't teach you to knock. I was taught not to sit on the table. Motya, you can't be rude to adults. Why are you here? Why not at school? The lesson was cancelled. Dad, why did you invite a psychiatrist yesterday? Something's wrong with mom, right? And how did you know? Social media, Dad. Do you think there are many Karl Evgenieviches there, even with such an appearance? Motya, so that's it. I love and respect you. But there are things that concern only me and your mom. Oh, yeah. And your secretaries. And what does the secretary have to do with it? I don't know, Dad. Hopefully nothing to do with it. Matvi, what do you allow yourself? Come back and explain yourself. I'm late for training. Well, it's all good. You can go back to class. Call the next one. Almost Lil. Hello. What are you doing here? You won't believe it, I work here. I'm tired of sitting at home, and here instead of a nurse I'm free. Cool, have you given me any rest now? But you're not in danger. You've got all the fleas out with your experiments. But I'll take a swab from you. Why? You need to know if you are immune to certain diseases. I didn't find your vaccination card. I don't know what vaccinations they gave you. Do you know yourself? Yes, no, does it hurt? Don't. Open your mouth. Does it hurt? No. Well, that's it. I'll take this to the lab. And very soon we will know everything about you. You just don't call the next one, okay? All right. Yes. I'll run out to the lab for a while. There's a boy coughing, very similar to whooping cough. I took it for sewing. If confirmed, the school will have to be quarantined. Of course, run. Only then don't call back. Thank you. Oh, my god. Lilia. Hi there. Hi there. What are you doing here? And I work here. I got a boring job at home as a nurse. It seems that the work is not dusty, and in business. And what are you fates? Yes, I have a child studying here. Small world. Sorry, Vicolia, I would chat, but there is no time. For now. For now. Yes. Is this how you solve issues? You said that Lilia is in a mental hospital. Why do I meet her at our child's school? Vic. Vic, calm down. Let's take it in order and in detail. I just came to the headmaster to talk about Katya's problems, which you told me about. I didn't have time to get to the director's office. Lilia comes out and tells me that she works here. At school? By whom? A nurse. Look, it can't. It really works. She's a medic by training. 
She hasn't worked as a medic for a day, Lenya. Not a day. You see, she got a special job at our daughter's school. It's not just like that. So, pick up Katya from school and go home. I'll take care of this issue. You've already been studying. Yeah, Vic, just do as I say, okay? Of course, it's good. Kirill. I've already agreed on everything. I'm putting Lilia in the hospital. Today. She won't fit anymore, Katya. And you don't get sick. Karl Evgenievich. I will come to you today with my wife. Well, yes, on our question. Vic, what's going on? Sorry, the transfer is at work. Whatever you want, I don't care about work. The child is more important to me. I don't understand why such a reaction. Well, what if it's a coincidence? You never know what happens. Or are you hiding something from me? What can I hide about you? Infection. I have the impression that I don't know something about your past. Maybe he stole a man from someone or stole a diamond. Lenya, just tell me, have you forgotten how hard Katya got for us? We have an only child, Lenya. I just can't stand it if something happens to her, you know? I won't survive if someone does something to her. That's it. Vic, calm down. Everything is under control. Don't worry so much. Look. I promise you, Lilia won't bother us anymore. I'll do my best. Trust me. I already believed you once and that's what happened. Now Lilia is being taken to the hospital. Yes. Lilia? I know you've been stalking Katia. And he didn't tell me everything. What did you do at school? What kind of nonsense is this? Why was I stalking? I was recommended a math tutor for Matvi. He teaches at this school. I came, saw a nurse vacancy, decided to try, but I stayed at home too long. Lilia, well, you're lying to me. And you're not lying to me, you invite a psychiatrist to dinner, you say that this is your colleague. I had no other choice. I don't understand what's going on with you at all. You're running around, you're acting weird. And anyway, I'm tired of your secrecy. And what did the psychiatrist tell you? Revealed all my secrets. He said that you are absolutely healthy, just tired. You can and should trust me. You see, if you had told me everything from the very beginning, would not have had a conflict with Lenya. And so he called me yelled at me, said to hang me on the first pillar, and in general told you that you're crazy and you need to be locked up in a hospital. Wait, did Lenya say that? This is still in a mild form. What do you expect from a cop? You know, if he starts digging, he'll just eat me. I'm sorry, please, I couldn't even think. Me oh. Why? You understand that such people, they, if they want, they. They can destroy anyone. Me. I had a fight with him. I said that I would stick a certificate in his nose, where it would be written that you are absolutely healthy. And where will you get it, draw it? No. We will go to Karl Evgenievich. He is ready to receive us. Even such a great detective as Lenya will not argue with his conclusion. But if there is a need, we will go. Now? Yes. Come on, honey, come on. All right. 
And why do we need a real psychiatric hospital? It was possible to go to a private clinic. Well, because Karl Evgenievich works here. You can't argue with his conclusion. Don't be afraid. Since 10, the patients are different. There is simple stress, and there are heavy ones. One just trashed the doctor's office. Therefore, you will wait for him in the ward. Please, please. Ward number two, and I'll call the doctor. In the ward. Poor people, it's easier to die than to be here. That's how it is here. It's a creepy place. And why did we go here looking at night? I had to decide everything in the morning. I am this. I'm going to hurry Karl Evgenievich, and you'll stay. Kirill, don't you dare do this. Don't you dare. Open the door. Open the door for me. Let me in. Let me in. Don't you dare. I have a baby. I'm sorry, Lelechka. This is the right place for your benefit. Tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Let's talk. Lenechka, hello. This is for you. You will excuse us, you louts, that we greeted you so unfriendly yesterday. A forced measure. You see, your husband is very concerned about your psychological state. We will quickly conduct an examination and let you go. You see, sometimes good needs to be done. I want to see my son. Well, let's first do a blood test, see your general condition. I want to see my son. Until he comes, I will not take any tests. You will be sure. Honey, this is a dead end. How am I going to let my son come to you if you're in this state? It's up to you to decide. The sooner you start obeying me, fulfilling my little requests, the sooner you will see your son. Here is Islam, Lanachka. I'll leave you. Wash, what are you doing there? I have a meeting in half an hour. And why are you driving me today, and not mom? So, less words, more action. Why didn't she stay at home tonight? Well, because she went to see a friend. But can she take a break from us? What friend, dad? She doesn't have any friends. Where's mom? What happened to her? Okay. I'll be honest with you. Mom had a nervous breakdown with ozone. Unnoticeable. So I invited a doctor to look at her. He said she needed a rest. Does it have something to do with my sister? Yes. Let's get the car. Let's go. Did you hide mom in a mental hospital? Of course not. I just took her to a nice private clinic. Well, with the spa, there are massages, all these things. Then I'll go and spend it right now. Where is this clinic? That's stubborn, isn't it? Okay, let's go, I'll take you to her. Just for five minutes. And you can't be nervous. Sit down. Come on, young man. 
no one will torture your mother with electric shock. And we won't hold them in a room with soft walls either. But look, she's walking. Lilechka, I have a surprise for you, as promised. Your son. Hello, my good. I love you very much. I love you too, mom. Excuse me, please. Could you leave us for a while? Of course. Well, you remember, you have a massage in 10 minutes. Thank you. Mom, what happened? Dad says you're having a nervous breakdown. Yes. Well, wow. Matvi. I'll explain everything to you. Just listen to me to the end, okay? Katya is your sister. What? What makes you think that? First of all, she looks like me. We've already been through genetics at school, right? Well, think for yourself, where do tall, dark-eyed, dark-haired people come from? Lenya with Vika, blonde Katya, eh? Well, maybe some kind of grandmother. Yes, she also has an allergy to Bulgarian pepper from her grandmother. And the birthmark is the same as mine, Matvi. Well, it's a coincidence. You see, my friend, I'm not really sure either. That's why I got a job as a nurse at school. I took a sample from Katyusha for DNA analysis. And Vika saw me there, told her husband. And the husband, of course, told dad. And my dad is here. Locked it. Well, you know, I can't leave it like that. I just want to know for sure. After all, there is a chance. And how do I find out? Please, I beg you very much, find a receipt from the laboratory in my black purse. It's in the side pocket there. And look at the results. And what's next? Well, depending on the result. If it's negative, then just tell me. And if it is positive, you need to go to the investigator, Investigator Kolosov, to the Central Committee. Go, please, I beg you very much. Besides you, no one will help me. No one will believe Matvi. All right. Thank you. Just don't tell Dad, okay? Mom, well, you see, I'm blinking, my nose is stuffy, I'm sick, let me stay at home. Well, really, Katya, we took the temperature, you felt good yesterday, don't be silly, please, I'm late for a manicure, let's go. And I will go to Lila, she will give me a certificate and send me home. Lilia is a mentally abnormal person, she may even be admitted to the hospital today. Dad has already talked to the right people. Well, it looks fine. Look, psychos are great at pretending, do you think she just got a job from your school? She wants to steal you and there's no telling what to do with you. Dad and I are very worried. So please, if you see her at school, make sure she doesn't even notice you. Agreed? All right. Let's go. Well, please. It's very important for my mom, but she's sick right now. Here's her passport, and here's my birth certificate. I really am her son. Well, okay. Only as an exception. Actually, we only give such things to the customer. Is it? Excuse me. Can you explain what is written here? The probability of motherhood is 99 and 9%. Nine Matvi, what are you doing here? Did you know that my mom was put in a mental hospital? Oh, right. You asked for it. You know, everything. Everything is very complicated. If you have 10, I'll explain everything to you. I don't have 10 minutes. Matthew. Leonid Sergeyevich, but we're going. The meeting has already begun. Why did you call if you don't have time yourself? Well, let's drink to the fact that everything is for the best. Are there limits to your cynicism? I actually feel like a complete freak. 
locked his wife in a mental hospital, like some kind of. But why a freak? She's really not herself. You've been putting up with it for ten years, you can be counted among the saints, but this is not a banal divorce because of some secretary. People will feel sorry for you. To live as a schizophrenic for so many years. Have you decided to rewind everything? Come on. Try it. I don't remember the name of that nervous investigator. Leonid Pavlov. I have something to talk to him about. So? You decided to blackmail me now? Oh, let's just not use these loud phrases. I protect myself and my future. So? You and I will wait six months, and then you will officially introduce me to your son. And now? Where are you going? To my son. Prepare him for a new mom. What is it? No, I have to ask what it is. This is an unfortunate, for 10 years everyone has considered her crazy, and so am I. She was right. Your daughter is her own daughter. Are you crazy? This is the result of the examination. I called the lab, there can be no mistake. Is there anything you want to explain to me? Or arrest you right now for child abduction? Damn it. Yes, of course, I should have told her earlier. Yeah, and even better, there was no need to touch someone else's daughter at all. Yes, not a stranger, but to me. Yes, not native. We adopted her. The wife went to see her doctor, and a refuse Nick was brought to the women's consultation. Vika just didn't want anyone to know that the child wasn't her own. How touching. I'm going to cry. Stop it. We love her like a family. Yes, her character is complicated, but this, this is our daughter. All this sounds very unconvincing. However, it is never convincing. Where to? Do you want to be arrested? Hi there. Did something happen? You stole the baby's hives. Here is the DNA examination. What nonsense is this? Katia is Lily's daughter. Where did you get this? How did you manage to set a fire? I thought you couldn't even screw a light bulb into a chandelier. Did Lilia give you this? Has she lost her mind already? Fake DNA tests. Did you tell her that they put her in jail for this at all? Lenya, I'm in shock. Who do you believe? I'm the one in shock. Vika. Tell me. I wanted a baby. I saw Katia and took her to us. And I didn't find out where she came from, who she was. Do you even realize that it's elementary to check? What's your gynecologist's last name? So that's why you cried when you looked at Lyra's photos from the hospital. Did you think you were so happy for your friend? Was it just banal envy? Lenya. Yes, you also asked me how often parents find miscarriages. Vika. This is a child abduction. Yes, I stole it. Because I wanted us to have a real family. And I couldn't give birth to your baby. Lenya, I really really wanted to make you a happy father, you know? And Lilka always had everything. 
She had rich parents who adored her, then a wealthy husband, a son. Doctors told her that there would be no more children and she had given birth to a daughter. Why is everything to one and nothing to me? I had no one but you, laziness. I'm an idiot, right? My wife stole a child from her best friend, and I can't even put two and two together. They are even similar, as I did not notice. I thought Yuli was crazy. Or do you even realize how many people you've ruined their lives? Let's fix it. Laziness. Laziness, let's fix it. I just don't know how. Well, to give Arcadia to strangers, what about us? What will happen to us? Laziness. I don't know. They'll put you away. And they'll put me away. As an accomplice. The tracker is aware of the analysis, he gave it to me. And the outfit is probably already on its way here. Lenya. Lenya. Lenechka, save our family, Lenya. I'll do whatever you say. Let's make a deal with this colleague. And you always say that you can negotiate with everyone, Ellen. Mm. It is possible with everyone. Vika 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 Vic, I'll figure something out. I will get a commutation of the sentence. Vika Okay, I see. Hello, I am. Hello. I am Katya Pavlova's father. I need to pick her up. Katya has just been picked up by her mother. Just a few minutes ago. Did something happen? No, no, it's fine. I'm sorry again. Mom. I'm taking control of the case. Vika took the child from school, left. Yes, I am a person interested. What do you suggest? The interception plan. The plan is to intercept well. Come on. Now I'll come and give evidence. And to Matvi, maybe you don't understand my action now, but the time will come, you will understand. Mom will be helped. She will become cheerful again and come back to us. Mom's not crazy. Yes or no? What do you mean, take it away? Well, you said that yourself. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. What kind of nonsense is this? Then give it back, then take it away. Katia is my sister. What? Katia is my sister. Mom's not crazy. She is the only one who understood and felt. And you didn't believe her. Locked up in a mental hospital. Lena, I'm going to pick up Lilia now. Yes, something important has happened. Yes, I remember about the election. You don't do anything to burn tea yet, okay? I'll come and explain everything. The connection is bad, I say, I'll call you back. Touch me. Laziness, well, I'm sorry. But you know I didn't want to, I was forced. And now everything has changed. I need to tell you something. I want to tell you something too. I'm filing for divorce. Lil. Let's get some more tea. What else will you have? Here. Yeah, come on. Maybe you want some yogurt. No, wait, I'll be right there. Now. Here, 
this one, and probably like this. Yes, I get it. Katya, I just got a call. We're leaving. I mean, am I eating? I was told that Lilia was released from a mental hospital. We need to leave immediately. I'll buy something on the way. Lil, I'm asking you, let's not take hasty Xyusha. And I had enough time alone to think about everything. Someone brought it. I do not know what to tell you and how to explain it all. But I had no idea knocking your daughter. You had no idea. If so, you're nobody. You made me put my wife in a mental hospital, and you couldn't figure out your own? Somehow you didn't know about anything at all. Simple. I've always believed you. And when she said she decided to adopt foundlings, I didn't check anything. She never gave a reason to even guess. I don't believe it. Just get out of my house. Listen, we need to calmly sort things out with you. Don't you dare talk to me. Just get out of my house. I call the police, they return the child to me, that's all. No need to call anywhere. The case has already been opened. Here's the investigator calling. Yes. We found Vicky's car. She had an accident. Vika disappeared. Someone's in intensive care. She's in a coma. Wait here. The doctor will be right there. Thank you. Go away. You've done enough already. Don't you dare approach her. I'm her father. At least legally. The deprivation of paternal rights is a matter of time. Please, let's talk about this later, okay? Hello, we are Katya Pavlova's parents. Do you have any news, forecasts, anything, any information at all? Your daughter is in the botanical comi. Her vital activity is maintained artificially. I can't make any other predictions yet. And how long will it last? Can we stay here, wait? Or will it take a few days? We don't even know if her brain is alive. This condition can last for years. Not to mention that maintaining life costs a lot of money. Can I see her? Let's do it tomorrow. I will have more data. Take sterile clothes, shoe covers and excuse me that other patients. Have a nice day. Thank you. Come on. Hello. Police investigator Leonid Pavlov. The investigator. Hello. What happened? Ten years ago, a child was thrown to you, a girl. I need this child's medical record and all possible additional information. Please take a look, surely you have had few such foundlings. Yes, as long as I've been working here, I haven't had one yet. This is usually left in the maternity hospital or babies can be thrown into the house. And what does the women's consultation have to do with it? We just keep records of pregnant women. Probably, it is necessary to put the parental cottage up for sale. The tenants will have to be squeezed out. Kirill, how much do we have on our account? Lil, listen, we don't have anything on our account. Everything went to the elector's plaid. Wait, are you paying for this with our personal money? Well, not only that, but in any case, you can't spread out now. It is unknown what will happen next. What do you mean now? Well, the fact that Katia is now, well, not the one. Katia, did you hear what the doctor said? Brain dead. It's just a body, a shell. I do not know, 
but it seems that someone upstairs does not want us to have a daughter. I have a daughter. She's in the hospital waiting for my help, Kirill. And I'm a doctor. I know she might wake up. I believe in it. Helia, you're a pediatrician, but not a neurosurgeon. I don't want you to spend the rest of your days sitting by the bed of a daughter who will never wake up. We have to move on. I'm going to leave now. And please don't ever come into my life again. Let's assume that you really don't have anyone. That's it, right here. Documents. Yes. Listen, let's talk about this tomorrow. I'll be at my place after lunch. No, I'm at home now. Listen, Kolosov, I'm not going anywhere. And I won't do anything stupid. Not a fool. That's good. See you tomorrow. Here's the address. Go there and keep an eye on him. Perhaps his wife will want to contact him. Or is he himself involved in this up to his ears? We need to keep an eye on him. Got it. You didn't register such a girl here on this date. Some boys are listed. How can this be? Did you issue a certificate without a record? Most likely, a fake. This is your testimony. You need to think about it, you've never heard of this. I'm sorry, please, I expected there to be more here. Cartier is real there. Yes, we somehow don't care. We accept by weight of metal. We don't even count a stone. There's not even enough for medicines here. Oh, is someone sick? Yes, I have a daughter at school. I understand. You know, if you urgently need money, try to hand over your things to a thrift store. There's a second-hand store of branded clothes just around the corner. Try it. Thank you very much. It didn't even occur to me somehow. Good idea. Oh, and I see your watch is great. They will take them even without a box. It's good when such gifts are made. Yes, thanks to the sponsor of this holiday. Kirill, what happened? I almost lost my mind. He said some nonsense and disappeared. I'm calling you, you're not picking up the phone. Lilia is not crazy. Our daughter is really alive. It was stolen 10 years ago. How is this possible? It's a long story. But the worst thing is that the daughter is now in a coma. A lot of money is needed. And there is nowhere to take it. I spent everything on the pre-election. Lyra also found out about the shot from my house. Kirish, my house is always open for you. God, I don't understand yet. Please come in. Yeah. Luxurious interior. Well, in a way. Our fireplace is Italian. All the wood in the house is real. Underfloor heating. What else? Clearly. Clearly. The furniture, I take it, remains? Yes, of course. Well, what can I say? A gorgeous nest. 
but now there is a crisis, you can't sell this in two days. In this case, the main thing is not to rush and not to get cheap. I need to sell very urgently. I'm ready to give in. Just find a buyer, okay? When you come to your senses, I'll buy you all the toys you want. Address. And then you'll get better, and we'll all go for a walk together. What are you doing here? Don't you dare come here. I decided to help. You have already helped many times, but I will fix it through the court. Or someday you will realize that I have nothing to do with the abduction of a child. My only fault is that I didn't understand what kind of person my wife was. I don't believe that you can live with a person for 10 years and not suspect anything. The doctor said that the maintenance of Katia is expensive. Here I am. I will participate. Something is needed. Medicine. Payment for what? My husband is a wealthy man, Katia, and I don't need anything. Okay, I get it. Just leave. It's all right. They were taken by a nurse. You can start today. Thank you very much. Well, my friend, now we will definitely be together. Always. Kirill. I remember you saying that the doors of your house are always open for me. Will you accept it? What, with only one suitcase? Well, do you love me? Not my suitcases, right? Come in. Hello. Tell me, please, did Vika come here? God be with you. As her mother died, she did not show her nose. That stupid woman. It was such a good house, I could have sold it. And now who will buy it? A wreck. And it may be that. Well, she was here, and you just didn't notice? I'm retired. Nowhere from home. I hear every rustle. And if someone had passed by or turned on the light, I would definitely have seen. And what happened? Who are you going to be, Vika? I'm her husband. Her envious friend appeared, said nasty things about me, so Vika ran away. Does not answer calls, looking for. Here's my business card. Please call me if she shows up here, okay? Yes, I will definitely call. I love her very much, but somehow everything turned out to be stupid. Oh, oh. Thank you. And what is it that Vicula is not lucky? Such a good girl and golden hands. She fixed my TV 10 years ago. And it still works. Vika, TV? Well, yes. Her mother arranged for her to go to college, and Vika, out of spite, chose something with electronics. The talent turned out to be. Yes, I fixed all the equipment in the neighborhood, even the wiring. Didn't you know that? I knew about electronics. I didn't know about the wiring. Thank you very much. Well, call me. Thank you. Yes. Mom. We got to this hole for an hour and forty. How will I go to school every day? 
And where should I invite my friends for my birthday? They won't even find this village. Well, Modvi, be patient a little. Katyusha will come to her senses, I will get a normal job, we will rent a nice apartment. Well, the doctor said she could stay like this for years. Doctors are wrong. Katyusha will come to her senses soon, you'll see. And I'll rent you a cafe for your birthday. Where did we get the money for a cafe? I got a job. Of course, it's not very prestigious, but it's enough for a cafe. Mom, tell me, are you and Dad getting divorced? Oh. I don't know. Maybe. It's not clear yet. That's it. Have you exhausted your questions? Linen, shirt and coffee ready? The shirt is ready. I forgot about the coffee. But I have another 10 minutes. I'm going to Katia's hospital now. Please reschedule the meeting about 30 minutes later. Katia, she's in a coma. So what? This is my daughter. Should I know what state she's in right now? I'll get the shirt right away. And coffee? You'll do it yourself. Why did you go to your mother-in-law's house for a ride? And to the registry office? Footprints? For metal? I noticed your stomper. So, do you need handcuffs? Do you have any evidence against me personally? Your wife needed an accomplice. The child was stolen at night. Then it took Victoria several days to collect all the documents. And who was the baby with? I checked. You took a vacation for those three days. The strong version, yes. I really took a vacation. I went to my father's funeral. Vika was with me for only one day, and then she left here to collect documents we were just about to sign. And what, did she bring you a baby as a wedding gift, sort of? And all these days I was in the village where my father lived. This can be confirmed, I have witnesses. Well, let's say. And didn't you suspect anything when she brought someone else's child into the house? And I didn't double check a lot of things then, but now I had to. I was sure that she had a higher education in economics, but in fact it turned out to be a specialized secondary electrical repair. Can you imagine? So. What else? Yes, only that she forged Katia's birth certificate. That's it. She hasn't been to her mother's house for a long time, she doesn't have any friends. The stash she took from the apartment will last her for several months. And where she is, I have no idea. Well, we washed up. Now you can rest. Hey, new girl. The girls from the canteen left us a set lunch there. Inexpensive, as for their own. Shall we go? No, thanks, I brought mine. Well, whatever you want. Thanks, girls. We'll have dinner.
Katia. Katia. You don't like it, do you? And I understand that it gets boring to start with scrambled eggs every morning. Be patient a little bit, okay? Time will pass, everything will get better. We will also have muesli. They'll have the ham sandwiches you're used to, okay? Don't worry, mom, you made a wonderful omelette. And I don't like this whole situation. Thank you, my son. Mom, what's wrong? Nothing, just got something in the eye cuts. Mom, are you wearing leaky boots? I'll seal it up. Get ready for the minibus, you'll be late. Moth, what a surprise. Come in, it's good to see you. How are you? How are you? Mom doesn't know what's here. Dad, we need help. There is no money at all, not even for food. Mom goes to the hole. Kirill, we have such a pastry shop opened here. Can we have lunch? Matthew. How many times do I have to tell you in office hours to call me Kirill Alexandrovich? Kirill Alexandrovich, well, I am. He would have found out sooner or later anyway. Yes, Pavel Petrovich. Okay, I will. Kirill, I think. Thank you, I'm full. These are the masks of the show. They took your teapot an hour ago. Right in the office. All documents and computers were taken away. They have a new tracker. It hurts to jump. So wait, Kirill Sanik. For guests with questions. Are you at least all right with your papers? Yes, there's a mosquito nose will not hang out. All right. Girls, I'm eating, Nadia. It's fine. Come on. Come on. Are you looking for a job? Yes, a waiter or a cleaner. How old are you? 17. Do you have your passport with you? I forgot it at home. Don't mess with me. 
This morning my mom was crying because her boots have holes. My sister is in intensive care. Mom works there at night, but there's still not enough money. That's why I really need a job, anyone. You're 30 minutes late. Do you think I should take out the ship? I'm sorry, I just missed the minibus. You need to go out earlier, darling. And what is this? Young man, visits are prohibited at this time. Service. You'll excuse me, I need to talk to Lily Vital. All right, just let Lilia Vital leave Net Dane to take out the whole ship first, and then you talk as much as you like. I didn't understand, do you work as a nurse? Why? Hospital staff are given a small discount on treatment, and I can't sell the house. And the money just flows away. And what about Kirill? Well, well, why did you lie to me that everything was fine? You know what, Lilia, you can deprive me of my parental rights, please, but I still won't love Katya any less. I just can't. Do you understand that? She's the only important person in my life. Therefore, I will pay for Katya's treatment. To be honest, you surprised me. You are a wealthy woman and went to the hospital to take out the ship. Amazed. There is nothing shameful about it. My profession is a doctor. What difference does it make how to help people? I agree. Can I see Katia? Have a drink and a snack. Urgent. Two minutes. By the way, I bought something at our favorite restaurant. I'll warm it up now. Is there no one at home? Kiriish, and you came here and didn't even kiss me. I do not know how they found out. Today they took Petrovich's deputy for construction. We have a problem. And a serious one. All one to one. Suspicion of corruption and the bill. Divorce looms. I was just driven into a dead end. The only way out is to return to his wife. And what does the wife have to do with it? But despite the fact that they were compassionate with my wife and a sick child, my rating will increase dramatically. Such a person in the eyes of the electorate, he cannot steal. Then no one will be able to touch me. I just became, Kirill. I've missed so many opportunities in 10 years. Is it really possible to come and go to me only for the rating? Well, come on. Well, I've been patient, well, for 10 years, but be patient for two more months. We have no other way out. Yes, there is a way out. Which one? Here you are formally reconciling with your wife, taking care of your child, and you live with me, period. Well, firstly, the press will immediately get wind of it, and secondly. What am I going to tell you? Think about it. You're smart. Lil, I'm going over everything in my head and I can't figure it out. You and Vika have been friends since childhood. Why did all this happen at all? Why you? 
I don't know. Tamara, the housekeeper, came to us. Pika is her daughter. I was a sickly child, I stayed at home. And Vika, well, you know, she's lively, energetic. We became friends, played together, actually grew up together. My parents loved me very much. And what, there was nothing suspicious? Well, maybe something happened between you? Maybe. There were several broken toys. The doll is my favorite. But Vika apologized every time, saying that by accident. I believed it, I didn't attach any importance to it. You know how it happens in childhood. Yes. I'm still amazed at your tenacity. And I brought up a lot of materials, statistics. 99% of mothers in your place would give up. And not every mother would be able to feel what it is, that this is her daughter. Vika is definitely not one of your categories of women. You're wrong. She raised someone else's child for 10 years. And no one suspected that she was not her own mother. It's probably just that I didn't suspect. They were always fighting. Almost from the moment when Katya would have started to talk clearly. And I didn't even think to ask myself why everything is so. Matvi, we need to talk. I don't have time to talk, I'm late for work. Oh, what kind of news is this? Does mom know? And what kind of work? You need to do math. Dad, I'm the only man in the family. Don't delay me. All right. Here. Here, take this. I want to help. I'll sell the car, I'll take a loan. Do you know how much it takes to treat Katia? You'd better give it to your Lena. Matthew. I just stumbled. Well, that's what happens with men. Well, when you grow up, you will understand, and if you don't, I hope you will forgive. Give me a chance. I want to rebuild our family. I won't take the money, but if you want to help, ask the doctor. He'll tell us what we need. I am aware that you have been waiting for repairs for a long time. There are not enough funds in the budget. I think hospitals should be a priority. Therefore, I will contribute to speeding up the process. Thank you, Kirill Alexandrovich. But believe me, your daughters will get lost just fine. Yes, I have no doubt. You have a special approach to everyone in the clinic. But your wife struck me. So voluntarily to contract, not everyone is able to clean up ducks at night. Ducks? Well, yes, the nurses do not have the most pleasant job, and the salary is scanty. But your wife is well done, she doesn't complain. Katie Usha, when you get better, I'll let you dye your hair any color. Whatever you want. Well, for example, you drive in blue, like Malvina. Or, you know, I've been having terrible insomnia for the last few days. Stress. So I came up with a way to deal with it. Cooking. Here are some baked cottage cheese donuts. Help yourself. Actually, you can't eat in the ward. But since I clean up here myself, I'll help myself. Do you like it? Very tasty. Did you really bake it yourself? Well, of course. I, in turn, can treat you to a sandwich of smoked sausage. With pleasure. Motvi bought it from his first paycheck. He now moonlights as a tutor for the children from the lower grades. The owner is Motvi, a serious guy, growing up. Since you and I are committing a crime or in the ward, well, then we'll switch to you. I agree. Ah, that's what it means. 
got rid of his wife and took up mine? Kirill, please leave. There's nothing for you to do here. Great. I just wanted to talk to Leonid. Shall we go out? It's okay. Well, tell me. Don't you dare touch my wife. Keep talking. Are you crazy? Stop it immediately. Lilia, I hope you will forgive my mistake. And I will prove that I love you. What's going on here? Should I call security? No need for security. Kirill Alexandrovich is already leaving, right? Come on, Lenya. Well, you. I'm sorry for what happened with Kirill. I couldn't help myself. I don't want to discuss it. I'm filing for divorce. There are things that are not forgiven. I understand. Do you want some tea? I want to. Katenka. Katyusha. Give me a room, please. Leave the room. mom. You take me to my mom. Mom. Bring the girl's mother as soon as possible. It's probably not worth telling the truth right now. Yes, I'm listening. Hello. Kirill Alexandrovich can't come up right now. This is Motvi's mother. Why? Where to come? What does it mean for the second year? In the sense of skipping the test. I get it. Yes, good. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Katyusha, mom was slightly injured in the accident. And therefore, 
He will be treated in a sanatorium for several months, and Lilia will take care of you for now. Maybe even stay with us for a while. Is it possible without Lily? Dad, I'm afraid of her. I don't want to be with her. Why are you afraid of her? Mom said that Lilia is crazy and wants to hurt me. And that she should have been put in a mental hospital at all. Okay, I see. Honey, Mom messed up something. Lily is absolutely healthy and she is. She is a very good doctor. No. Katyusha, well. Lily has done a lot for you here at the hospital. We spent a lot of time together. I know her. 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 Well done. Psychos are great at pretending. Well, let's remember. We walked a lot together, you talked great. If there was one, you and I would have noticed it for sure. Besides, someone has to take care of you, and I'm at work all the time. She's the best candidate. Now, Katyusha, I'll be back. Did something happen? Vika told her that. That you're crazy and you want to hurt her. Therefore, it is impossible to tell her the truth now. It's like she's trying to take my daughter away from me again. Listen, I do not know how you will react to this, but I told Katya that you will stay with us for the first time and will monitor her health. And what about her? Well, I kind of agreed. Okay, I am. I could come in the morning. I will bring Madvi to school and some kind. To be honest, I thought maybe you and Madvi would move in with me, yes. Why is that? Well, what for? You'll be with Katya all the time. At home, she will relax, you will get used to each other. And Matvi is not far from school. Don't worry, I think I'm practically never in the tale. This is somehow wrong. Only I do not know if it is right or wrong, but this is the best option for all of us. But they should have come by now. Look, here's Katia bought it. Do you think she'll like it? What does she like at all? I have no idea, but I hope to find out. And I want to tell you that you are my joy. Mom, are you sure we need to live with this laziness? Oh, Matthew, he's a good man. I trust him. He really wants to help. Besides, it's temporary, just until we tell Katya the whole truth. And now it's too early to say, it's still very weak. Wow. That's right. A holiday? Yes. Ugh. What's that stink? Oh, I lit the scented candles. Well, to make the smell of detergent go away. I bought vanilla, cherry. What kind of smells do you like? None. I'm going to my room. Lil, well, she needs time. Yes, I understand, of course. Well done, actually. Very beautiful. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have pies. Well, Matvi, welcome. Thank you for understanding. Are you trying so hard right now because you feel guilty? Yes, to some extent. Remember, I won't let mom offend. That's right, it's men's. The creator. Okay, I'll go, I have to teach a lesson.
Hi there. You need to talk. We have nothing to talk about. I'm actually at work. Listen, boy. If you're not cooperative, I'll have to call the labor inspectorate and deprive you of your job. These fine people are going to be in big trouble. And what do you need? Tell me, where do you live now? Like they moved to the dacha, or are they back in the city? And dad couldn't ask himself, could he? Did he send you? Why don't you be smart and just answer my question? We live at Lenny's. Katia has come to her senses and her mother is taking care of her. And I'm working. Is there anything else you're interested in? No, I heard everything. Thank you. You're a smart girl. Katiusha, why don't you eat salad? I know you don't like vegetables, but I made couscous with sauce, with pieces of cheese. I won't eat your filth. With pieces of cheese. Okay, there's fish on the second one. I hate fish. What are you eating anyway? Or do they take you to restaurants every day? Mom always cooks what I love. She never cooked at all. Not true. Mom knows how to make delicious omelets, cook delicious pasta. Well, except that. Oh, great. I'll boil the pasta. Katia, wait, sit down. And in general, I have to thank Lita for cooking dinner. And I don't want to eat it. Mom never makes me. Katia, stop acting like that. I don't want to see you all. I want to go to my mom. Katia. Where are you going? I need to meet Lily. Apparently, she is not going to put up. Journalists have already called me twice today about my daughter in a coma and my cleaning wife. Nice town, huh? Not rumors about a fly. Funny, isn't it? You'll laugh. Our future is at stake. I'm going to the country. Only your wife is not at the dacha. She's a lover. Which lover? What makes you think that? Lilia is not cheating on me. Kuryusha, have you ever wondered why she threw you out so quickly? Why did she decide to sell everything, having your property? Why did she decide to deprive you of your career, all your money? Well, the property is clear, money is needed for treatment, but my career, why should she? Why are you guys so naive? She just doesn't want you to get into your new life. Do you know who she's living with now? With this tracker. Lini, do you remember this one? What? Yes. I killed him. I killed him. Don't get excited. There is a different way to act. In a different way? How is that? We need to frame this investigator. When we neutralize him, he will understand that there is no need to meddle in other people's affairs. And your wife will run away from him. Disappointed. We women don't like losers. He'll come to you. Your campaign card is in your pocket. Well, let's say. And how are we? How do we frame him? And I don't have a treasure. Are you freaking out? I have to go to school and work tomorrow. Are you okay? What are you doing here? You know what? If no one wants to tell you the truth, then I will tell you. Are you freaking out? I have to go to school and work tomorrow. Are you okay? What are you doing here? You know what? If no one wants to tell you the truth, then I will tell you. Matvi, don't. Don't touch me. Calm down. It's okay. You did well to tell the truth. But it's better to talk about it in the morning. Her. She's already got it. Someone has to calm her down. Calm down, calm down. But parents will do it better. Do you agree? 
What did he want to tell me? Is this about mom? No, baby, it's not about mom. Matvi wanted to tell you that he not only studies, but also works. Therefore, he must sleep at night, and your music is bothering him, and not only to him, but also to us. Yeah, you too. Don't touch me. Don't, I'm hot. Good night. Yes, now you won't fall asleep right away. It seems that Katia really hates me. Probably, he will never accept me. Will he accept it? It's just not the time yet. And the age is so difficult. She's done this before. Yes. Puberty happens. She said it herself. And Vika did her best. Thank you. They are completely helpless feelings. Can you imagine the irony of fate? I've been waiting for her for so many years. I was looking for her. And so, I can't find a common language with her at all. You know Katia loves Charlotte. Pies, various pastries, cheese. He just loves meat with cheese. And besides food. Except for food, cartoons, well, of course, all the novelties. So, when is the premiere? On Thursdays. Have you been there yourself for a long time? A long time ago. It's time to go again. Thank you. Thank you. You're taking it all so bravely. What does it smell like? And I baked cabbage pies. Do you love them? I love you. And I love them too. They remind me of my childhood. I was often sent to my grandmother. She always baked cabbage pies for my arrival. And what? Nothing. It's just that my grandmother's name was also Lilia. I was named after her. She taught me music. She didn't know how to cook anything, only cabbage pies. Imagine, I even overcooked eggs. Is it true? Yes. And even if I cooked eggs, I digested them anyway, then I didn't finish cooking them. Grandma is a family legend in general. If you want, I'll tell you about it later. All right. And I don't like porridge very much. Can I have some pies for breakfast? Oh, Katerina. Of course, it would be worth feeding you porridge. But I'm going to turn away now. And you're going to take a pie behind my back and eat it. Do you like going to the movies? Are you kidding? Cartoons or something about superheroes, right? Of course. Oh, and also if you take a bucket of cheese popcorn with you. I love cheesy popcorn. But mom says it makes you fat. Tomorrow is Thursday, the premiere day. Do you want to go? I want to. All right. So that's it. You finish your drink, pack up and let's go. I'll take you today. No, well, take these, they're inexpensive, here. Yes, so these are better anyway. Len, hello, let me give you a ride. I don't get into the car with unfamiliar men. That's how we know each other. 
the investigator for particularly important cases, Leonid Pavlov. I went to visit your boss once, and they say he has problems at work. Am I at Kirill Alexandrovich's work? I didn't talk to strangers. I wasn't so categorical in the car. Here, take it, just in case. Suddenly your priorities will change and Grishate will talk. I doubt it. But in vain. This is for you. I decided to cheer up a little. Thank you. Your advice helped a lot. Katia and I had such a nice chat this morning. We agreed to go to the cinema tomorrow. That's great. I bought a ticket here. Swan Lake. No, we'll all go together, the four of us. Swan Lake. Yeah. Maud V will be terrified. I've thought it all out. I took the seats, the last row, closer to the exit. If Matvi and I are nourished by culture, we smoke with him on Fay. Here, take this farm or something else. I noticed you buy everything with your own. Products are heavier. No need, I have something left after my dismissal. It's not worth it. No, take it. This, it's not up for discussion. Well, consider it a payment to you as a designer. Look how you transformed the living room. And the atmosphere has become so very family-like. And what if the whole apartment is decorated like this? Can you? I can. Well, I'm off then. Yes. Kirill Sanik, is everything okay with you and me? Your boss was taken. The case was open for the new buildings of the reserve. Opened? They're digging under ours. Therefore, winning the tender must be crystal clear. Are you there, maybe try somehow? Yes, we thought, they ordered gargoyles from a sculptor in the old days. Well, that's great. The only problem is that this Pavlov is a tracker. He's sitting on our tail. But one little bird informed me that Pavlov is not indifferent to powders in a piece of paper. They say he's going to get married again. Clearly. Thank you, birds. Listen. Bah, what kind of people? Hello, comrade investigator. Haven't seen you for a long time, it's been a while. To what do I owe? Do you have something to say about the construction in the reserve? Why are you doing this, boss? From a place and into a career. I just came to talk. About life, about this, about that. The gazebo is good. After all, we are the boss, honest people, and we love nature. We are ready to plant a hectare of forest, and take the territory for maintenance. Well done, only I would need a permit. It is necessary that they do not interfere. This is for understanding. How much is here? This is for a start, and then how it goes. All right. 
are you calling him? Well, about the permission, and. Well, so as not to delay. Pavlov is worried. I have an attempt to bribe an official. Write down the surname, Kuznetsov. What kind of bribe? What are you? What are you? What kind of bribe? Boss, that you are all yours. Quiet, quiet. Quiet. Calm down, guys. Yes, what is it? What is it? I didn't give anything to anyone. Kindergarten. People, you've become even more beautiful. Sorry, Kirill, I'm in a hurry. What did you want? I wanted to say that we made a lot of mistakes. Let's start over. After all, we had such love. If you want, we can get divorced and start over. I will take care of you, carry you in my arms, worship you, and then we will get married. I take it you've said it all now. Didn't you like the ring? And can I change it? It can't be like that, Kirill, do you understand? It can't be that way. You betrayed me, you refused to help your daughter. And now you've apologized and we've rewound everything. You weren't there for the most difficult moments of my life. I don't need a husband like that. Lil, let's talk. We are civilized people. That's all, Kirill. Mom. We have already returned from the sanatorium. Yes. Me. I haven't been to any sanatorium, baby. Katyusha, are you alone? I need to tell you something. You're an adult now, you'll understand me. What happened? Dad tricked you. Me. I haven't been to any sanatorium. He kicked me out of the house, you know. He fell in love with Lilia, and he told you that I was in a sanatorium, even though I wasn't there. If you want us to be together, we need to run away with you. You mean run away? And Dad? Katyusha? Dad traded us for Mopi's Lily, do you understand? She doesn't love us anymore. Mom, that's not true. He loves us. Listen, if you feel better with them, stay. But you and I will never see each other again. No. Mom, no. Just don't leave me, please. I'll do as you say. Of course I won't. What are you? So, listen to me carefully. I'll prepare everything. I'll prepare the documents and make you a passport. And I'll come for you. All right? She doesn't say anything in time. Nothing. And try to behave as usual, so that dad doesn't guess anything. Otherwise he'll hide you and I'll never find you at all. Agreed. Snub noses. I love you. I love you. For now. You bitch, Lenya. Why are you doing this? 
all people make mistakes. For example, I believe that you made a mistake. And in general, I think that in this game you are most likely a victim. I checked the building permit in the reserve. It's just like you said. It was issued by Kirill Alexandrovich Markovsky. Issued, then recalled. Therefore, I propose the following. You're grusky to me. And I'll forget about our annoying misunderstanding. A deal with the cops? Who don't you take me for? Well, it's my business to offer. If you don't want to, whatever you want. Deprivation of liberty and correctional labor for up to two years with subsequent deprivation of the right to engage. What I haven't done yet. Wait, I'm two years old. We'll make a deal. Well, that's great. I'm listening. We often collaborated with Markovsky. But we never went against the law. He suggested it himself. Are you, of course, of course, for the rollback? Yes. He offered to participate in a tender for the demolition of a historic building and the construction of a shopping center. He said that we would win this case, well, for a certain bonus, of course. Kuznetsov, and if it's true? Demolition of four historic buildings. Further down the block, where there used to be departmental housing, there are now high-rise buildings. Evidence? Marikovsky himself personally did not touch anything. All the cases went through his secretary Lenochka. She's like Katyusha's mistress. Katenka. Yes. Katenka, tell me, please, did we have someone? I don't know, I'm just from school. And what? Nothing. Kirill Alexandrovich is not there. Hello, Lena. Leonid Pavlov worries. We have one investigation going on. Your testimony is required. Let's decide where we'll meet you. Either with us and the police, or on neutral territory. Choose. Okay, let's go to the Olympia Cafe around the corner. I can be there in about 30 minutes. I have photos of official construction documents and unofficial ones with real amounts, account numbers and money transfer receipts. But I need a guarantee of my safety. And where would the police accidentally find the original? Well, for example, in his house, in his office. Agreed. Why should I believe you? 
because you have no other choice. Katie Usha, didn't you like it? Let me cook something else. I'm going to bed. Are you feeling unwell? Can't I just want to sleep? You can. And tomorrow we have everything in force. No. I watched this stupid cartoon. I'm not going. Mom, what was that just now? I don't know. Everything was fine in the morning. We agreed to go to the cinema together tomorrow. Now the person has been replaced. Mom, I think I need to tell her the truth. How much longer is she going to get on your nerves? And there's still time. And when will there be time? How long do we have to live like this? I don't know. We have no other way out. Maud V, my dad and I are getting divorced. Is it because of Katia or because of this secretary? No, son, it's because of me. It's just that my dad and I began to look at life differently. Mom, whatever happens, I'm with you. Uh, has your wife kicked you out again? Kicked out what? Me. I came by myself. Len, me. I realize that I love only you, Lenka. From you. Wow. Yes. And what about the size? Too big. I took it by eye. I thought it would do. I'll change it tomorrow. And why are you lying to me? What do you mean? You know perfectly well what my ring size is. Why? And I know perfectly well that your wife has why and you bought this ring just for her. Who do you think I am? Well, are we going somewhere? Not us, but you. Have you collected all my fish? Collected. Oh, wait. Here's another one. What is it? I hope I'll never see you again. And you give me my house keys. Wonderful. What a fool I am. Hi there. Wow. It smells delicious. Sit down, eat. Thank you. Lil, is something wrong? Has Katya upset you again? What, Kirill? Kirill can't upset me anymore. That's for sure. Lilia. When will all this end? Will you marry me? You. Are you serious now? Yes. I'm sorry, please. That is, you sleep with one during the day and in the evening you intend to marry another. Thank you, no need. I already have such a husband. I didn't understand. And tell your friend, please, if she intends to stake out a place somehow, it's not necessary to try so hard. 
Perfume, lipstick is superfluous. I, in general, do not pretend. You need to leave for a safe place immediately. Vika is back. What do you mean, Vic? Have you thought of a mistress for yourself? I respect you very much, myself too. I thought that. Lilia, we'll talk later. There's no time to think now. Vika was here. She took things and jewelry. No one else could get into the apartment. Is she alive, then? Livelier than all the living. We need to leave urgently. No one knows what's in her head. Please get ready, I beg you very much. All right. Katyusha, please, let's start with these performances now. Get up. I'm not going anywhere with you. Cat, listen, this is temporary. We have to leave because of my job. It's dangerous for us to stay here. You're going with Willy and Matvi. As soon as I solve all my problems, you will immediately come back here. I don't want to go with them. I want to go to my mom's sanatorium. Take me to her. Or is there no sanatorium? Where's my mom? Why are you hiding it? Yes, here's your mom, here. Matthew. What is Matvi? What is Matvi? That's enough. Here's your mom. You don't have another one. What kind of nonsense is this? This is not nonsense. You were stolen when you were very young. And Vika, whom you call mom, stole it. She's a criminal. Dad. Dad, please tell me he's lying. No, Kaz, he's not lying. It's true. Get up, I'll explain everything to you on the way. I'm not going anywhere with you. So understandable. Dad, let go. Dad. Dad. Katya, I didn't know the whole truth until I saw this analysis. I do not know why mom, why Vika did this, but you should know that I love you very much. And so it will always be. Your real mom. She's been looking for you for 10 years and hasn't stopped loving you for a minute. And she found you. You're lying to me on purpose, in order for me to forget her. And I won't forget. My mom is Vika. Will it always be like this? As soon as everything gets better, she will come back and take my daughter away from me again and again. Lily, it's just a matter of time. I'm sorry, I don't have time to deal with her mood right now. I have to look for Velika before she does something else. Don't open the door to anyone. Don't go outside. I'll bring the groceries. All right. Katie Usha. Cat, are you asleep? My girl. Why didn't you call earlier? You promised. And it was necessary to take them out of the city. Nobody knows what's in Vicky's head right now. Well, where can she be now? I have no idea. I asked them to pull up the surveillance footage near my house. We need to track down what she was driving. You send someone to the country. Let him look after it, you never know what. All right, I'll send a fighter. So here's Alice. Lesh. I have a request. If you detain her, we'll talk on the spot. All right.
Mom. Easy. They ran. Easy. Katia. 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 Mom, what is this place? Don't shout. Think about Grandma. We just haven't been here. The neighbors are sleeping. There is no need to teach anyone. About looking. Mom. Yes. It smells cold here. It's disgusting. Yes, it's cold here. But never mind. I'll heat it up now. Immediately. No one has come to life for 15 years. I'll get the firewood now. Mom. Dad said that my real mom is Lilia. And you stole me. Did he tell the truth? No, it's not true. Dad told a lie. Lilia is not your mother. I'm your mom, and Lilia is a psychopath. She wants to steal you from me. She's not your mom, I'm your mom. Do you understand? I don't lie. It hurts me. I'm sorry, please. Mom, it's you who forgive me, please. I'm really a mom. Me. I'm sorry, mom, please. Not. You just have to turn it slowly. No, you, please, sit down. Sit down, just sit quietly. I'll calm down now. Now I calm down. All right, it's okay. Is everything okay? All right. Everyone, please. I'm just really worried that dad will find us sooner. That dad is coming here now and will find us before we can leave. I need your support right now. I need you to behave yourself. All right, be patient, please, a little. I'm going to go upstairs and take a look. Our grandmother was a thrifty one, there must be some food there. I'm here now, I'll be right there. Well, there are no special traces left. The girl took her things with her, got out through the window. Apparently, they were already waiting for her there. She left on her own. With Vika. Lilia, concentrate. Did you hear something? What did you wake up from? Me. Me. I didn't hear anything. I just felt some kind of anxiety, got up and went into her room. I'm not God. Matvi, have you heard anything? No, I was tired and fell asleep right away. I see. We need to send out orientations to Katia, too. Yes. A neighbor. What neighbor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hello. Light in the house? Thank you. With nails, I think. Run. Cat. I found it, look. I found pasta, can you imagine? They say that pasta can't be eaten in 20 years. Cat. Vika, wait. Vika. Katia. Katyusha. Katia. I saw it. I saw everything. The mother ran there, and the girl ran there. Thank you. Katia. Mom. Mom. A girl. My girl. Vika, stop. 
Vika, stand by. Vika. Quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet. Why? And where is it now? Vic's mom. My girl, I understand. She's been your mom all this time. She loved you very much. In her own way, but she loved you very much and wanted only the best for you. I do not know where she is now. But I really hope that she is well there. Okay, I'll go. Math is waiting. What about math? Yes, there's a new teacher asked so much, but I missed a lot. There were buyers for the house. Maybe you should quit tutoring. Do you have money? I don't want to quit. I like it. So what about math? At school, I excelled in this discipline. I can help. Really? Will you help me, Leonid Sergeyevich? You can just Leonid. Of course I will help. Let's go take a look. And I'll clear the table. Make tea. Mom, can I help you? Daughter. Of course you can. You can do anything you want. Well, now I want to hear the truth. And where do you really work? That's what I'm saying. A math tutor. In our classrooms. I see. That's why your clothes are always covered in sauce, coffee stains. And you get so tired of your tasks that you go to bed at 9 o'clock, right? Okay, wait. 100 tutors. This is between us, I promise. Tell me. Yes, I work in a cafe. I went there when there was no money. At first, of course, it was hard, but then I got involved, the guys are cool, and regular customers have already appeared. But only if mom finds out, she'll kill you. So that's it. I'll take care of mom, and I'll help you with your studies. It's a deal. I understand it was a difficult day. How about some tea and cake? Yes, thank you. Laziness, we didn't finish one conversation. You still haven't answered me. Will you marry me again? Still Kirill, do you like? No. Just like that right after. After the death of Vicky, it's somehow wrong. Lil, we've already lost a lot of time with people we didn't know anything about. Life goes on, and we are all waiting for something, doubting, afraid. I am very worried about Modvi. How will he take it? He has such a difficult age. And what about Modvi? Good guy. I am sure we will find a common language, and Katya is with you and me. Do I agree? Yes. Yes. Will you let me? Of course.
Only I'll get divorced first. Definitely. <laughs> Yes, it is in excellent condition. And what kind of heating? Let's clarify. Can we move our things next week already? No, you can't. The house is not for sale. But let me. The hostess here is Lilia Vitalivna, and she will decide whether the house is for sale or not. So what? And I live here and am suing Lilia Vitalivna's decision to leave me without a roof over my head. And while there is a trial, you cannot sell. That's such a bad thing. What does this mean? Man, who are you anyway? Honey, don't be nervous. The broker will decide everything. This is a temporary misunderstanding. We'll figure it out now. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, why? And did you just want to put me in the trash and live here with a lover and children? It won't work. So where are you going? Yes, I have no desire to watch this here clowning. I'll take something and leave. Cha, I'm playing on the console today. Hello, the older one always plays first, but I'm kind today, so we can play together. Not, well, listen, your cars, but for your father. Let's play May games. My precious, I was in the house, brought another console. Come on, don't fight. Great. I fed the children. Well, how are the customers? Is everything okay? Oh. I found Kirill at home. He first transferred all the property to me, and now he wants to challenge. I decided to sue. I see. I have to leave, I've been called to a meeting. It's not for long, an hour and a half. In general. I'll be back for dinner. I'll just have time to cook. Take care of yourself. By what fates? I came to discuss the divorce. And what is it? My biography? No. This is your criminal case. Bribes, embezzlement of state property, abuse of official position, corruption on a particularly large scale, and so on in small things. If you are lucky with the judge, then it will be 10 years, and if not, then we will definitely not see you for the next 20 years. Come on, Lilka. She sent her lover to blackmail me. Well, tell her it's in vain. I'll sue her for my property anyway. And you have no evidence against me. A good lawyer he won't even break a sweat. Aren't you ashamed to sue your wife and children for a house yourself? Anyway, it's none of my business. And as for the evidence, we have a witness. A certain Malchanova Elena Ivanovna. You know her, in my opinion, even very close. Besides, I am sure that when we search your house, and especially your office, we will find a lot of interesting documents. Elena Ivanovna, then. What do you want? Take away the house and apartment? Personally, I definitely don't need your property. Well, Lily, for everything you've done to her, you definitely owe her. Therefore, tomorrow you will go to your friend the mayor, while he is still the mayor. And you will write a statement on your own. Which means you're going to sleep with my wife and raise my kids. Kirill, I would really hate to put Matvi and Katya's father in prison. But if you don't do as I say, I won't even blink an eye. Believe me.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Katie Usha. Happy birthday to you. As you knew, this is my favorite cake. How long have I been looking for you? Mom, can I have a look at my room already? Of course. Come on. <laughs>